physical platform for operation and the corridor of remembrance. Amen. Covenant is a legal platform for operation and a corridor of remembrance. Blessing is a pronouncement involving divine aids. Blessing is a package with lots of good fortune. Amen. Blessing is a package. When they say a man is blessed, it's not just only in the area of money. When you look at a man that has money, you say he's blessed and he's sick. That is not blessing. Blessing is a what? It's a package. You see him happy, the wife happy, the children happy, they are in good health, they love God, they praise God, they are always with God. We are talking of the blessings of God. Yes, sir. When the man has money, doesn't have peace, that is not blessing. Yes, sir. When you have money, you are happy. Your wife is happy. Your children is happy. You make God happy. You have peace of mind. That is blessing. I hear you. In Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, the blessing of the Lord, the blessing, not the blessings, is a package. It's just one thing, but it has so many content in it. Yes, sir. Can I teach you here? Yes, sir. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich. Makes one rich. And he had no sorrow. He had no sorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, there are things we children of God are not even supposed to ask because we have them based on conditions and principles. If we are able to follow the conditions and the principles that back up what we have, that seems not to be there, I am telling you, we can never be denied. God's covenant comes with, with conditions and blessings. And when the conditions are met, all the blessings will definitely come to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There are so many of you, you parents now, if you want your child to do well at school, you make a promise to him. Is it not true? It's true, sir. You say, if you can surprise me, at least from first to fifth, I will do this for you. Now, there's a condition to that thing you have promised your son. Is it not true? It's true, sir. Your son will now work so hard to make sure that he count from that specific number of positions that the blessings or that the promise are attached to. The, bless, the covenant that God has for us is, is filled up with blessings and is also conditioned. It's also what? Conditioned. conditioned. In Deuteronomy 28, let's look at what the scripture is saying there. Deuteronomy 28. Verse 1. Verse 1. Now it shall come now to pass. Now it shall come to pass if, 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 if is a conditional word. If you diligently, if you diligently, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you on high above all nations of the earth. Amen. Amen. Never you be familiar to the word of God and disobey the word. Yes, sir. sir. Don't be too familiar with the word of God and disobey it. And don't be too familiar with your prophet and start doing anyhow. A man of God is the one speaking here. Yes, sir. A man of God is the one speaking here. Listen to the scripture again. Now it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you this day, which I preach to you today. Huh? Yes, sir. Which I preach to you today. Amen. To observe the, the covenant that many of us are claiming today that worked for our fathers might not work for us if we are not obeying the conditions that they obeyed that made it to work for them. Yes, sir. Somebody hear me here? Yes, I hear sir. you, sir. Abraham blessings am I. There were conditions that that man observed, obeyed, and he what? And he did. 
there are conditions that he obeyed, he observed, and he what? And he did. Please focus. There were conditions that he obeyed, he observed, and he what? And he did. You can say, Abraham blesses a man, Jeremiah blesses a man, Joshua blesses a man. The God who was with them is with me. Yes, it is true. If only you follow the conditions that are attached to such covenant that actually work for them. Amen. So you might know it that God did wonders in their life because they follow such conditions. If you do not follow the condition, you might not enjoy the benefit and the blessings that they want that they enjoy. Amen. In Leviticus 26, verse 3. Leviticus 26. Verse 3. Verse 3. If you walk in my statutes. If you walk in my ways. And keep my commandments. And keep my commandments. And perform them. And perform them. Then. Then. I will give you rain in the in season. I will season. give you rain in this new season. The land shall yield its increase. Your churches. land shall yield increase. Even when others are complaining. Can I tell you this? Yes, I have sir. come to understand that uh, the fertilizer of the world might not determine the productivity of a farmer. I hear you, sir. When the earth is cursed, yes. the man can put all manners of fertilizer, nothing will, nothing will be there. Yes, sir. But when you are walking in the ordinances of the word of God and follow the principle of the word of God, things might be tight for people. It, can, it looks as if all doors are closed. It looks as if nobody is succeeding again. But in the midst of farmer, you are flourishing. Amen. Can I speak to somebody here? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, in this service you come, where others are complaining, you will be jubilated. Amen. I said, where others are facing farmer, you shall be flourishing. Amen. In the name Jesus. Amen. And the tree of the field shall eat their fruits. There are prayers you don't need to pray when you follow certain conditions that back up the manifestations of certain covenants. Amen. Amen. Can I tell you this? Yes, yes sir. sir. There are prayers you need to pray sometimes when you are facing satanic attack. Mm. Let the eyes of the man servicing the altar that empower evil covenant that fight my life be blinded. Amen. Amen. When the altar is not serviced, the sacrifice is weak. Mm. I hear you, sir. There are prayers you need to pray. Let the evil altar be forgotten. Can I tell you this? There are altars that can turn against his own and start eating his own when the owner is not bringing the requirement on the altar for the altar to function against his enemy. Amen. Can I preach here? Yes, I, preach. Sir. I feel like preaching now. Go go Can I preach here? Yes, sir. There are times you go to the daughter and you tell the daughter you are sick and the daughter will give you some pills. It's still under one condition. Make sure you eat before you want. You take it. My hope will shut Yes, I feel like preaching now. Yes, sir. It was a conditions. Never you take this pills. The pills is to heal you. Yes, sir. But when you fail to obey the instruction of eating before you take it, the medicine that's supposed to heal you can kill you. Yes, sir. Can I pray for you here? Yes, sir. Any evil man, evil woman, Amen. servicing evil altar of your father's house. Yes, sir. For evil covenant to maintain. Yes, sir. For evil covenant to remain. Yes, In the name of Jesus, the one servicing the altar will forget. Amen. Amen. The altar will turn against the owner. Amen. The altar will forget about you. Amen. The altar will fight the owner. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say I am here. I, I hear. Say I am here. Amen. In verse 5. Your threshing shall last till the time of vintage. Uh -huh. And the vintage shall no last. No shortage of supply. Amen. Somebody say no shortage of supply. Amen. No shortage of supply. Before what you have finishes, the supply another one. Amen. Yes, sir. Can I pray for somebody here? Yes, sir. Amen. From this very day, what you have before it finishes, God supply another Amen. one. Amen. It will not finish before it comes. Amen. Before it finishes, another one will come. Amen. In the name. Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And all these things are based on if. Somebody say if. 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 Which is a message. If is a topic of a message. Yes, sir. I can preach that for, for, for a full month. If. Read the scripture. 
and the vintage shall last till the time of sowing. You shall eat your bread to the full and dwell in your last, uh -huh. your land safely. I will give peace in the land and you shall lie down and I will, will give make you peace. peace in the land that you dwell even when you sleep, you sleep well. There are people when they are walking out, they are looking front, they are looking back, they are looking front, they are looking back, they are looking front, they are looking back. There's a level you can serve God. There's a level you can get to. You will feel that the God which you serve is not leaving you behind even when you are walking, is walking with you. Yes, sir. I will never leave you, neither will I forsake you. Read the scripture for me. I will read the land of evil beasts, and the sword will not go through your land. You will chase your enemies, and they shall fall you at their sword before you. will chase your enemies, not your enemies chasing you. Hmm. You are the one who will be chasing that they can't chase you. Amen. Wow! Anytime God enter into covenant with a man, he back up his word with spirit that guides the manifestations of his word. Amen. Let's follow me as I teach you. Yes, sir. Anytime God goes into agreement of covenant with men, he makes sure spirit be a witness of what he has said and things that were done, and he makes sure the spirit also guide the manifestations of the things that were done and the words that are what that are spoken. Amen. <laughs> you will chase your enemies and they shall fall by the sword before you. Amen. Amen. Anyone who is fighting you, yes, Lord. whether you know that you don't know that you will hear that they die. Amen. Amen. Can you share that in my word? Amen. Read the scripture because of time. Five of you shall chase a hundred and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to fight. Your enemies shall fall by their sword before you. Their, your enemy shall fall by their what? By, by the, the sword, sword before, before you. Me. There are prayers you don't even need to pray where you are obeying certain conditions yes, sir. that back up covenant. I hear you, sir. Never you misquote me when it comes to area of prayer. I'm a man of prayer. Yes, sir. But there are people who spiritualize prayer in a different dimension and fail to, to maintain the condition that facilitate the prayer to action. <laughs> I hear that, sir. There are people who pray, 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 pray. Do you know that everything you do have principle? Yes, yes sir. There are principles that guide the life we live. It looks like water, but it's not water. When you take it, you die. Mm. It looks like water, but it's not water. It looks like water, but it's not what? Yes, it's not, not water. water. And when you take it, you what? You die. die. For I will look on you, favorably blue, and make you fruitful. I will multiply look on you. you with the eyes of favor. Amen. And make you what? Fruitful. fruitful. Men can say something and not do it, but not God. Anytime God says, this is what I will do, most definitely he will do it. Yes, yes sir. sir. You have entered into covenant with God, or God has entered into covenant with you. There are conditions to the manifestation of the covenant. Yes, yes. The covenant is not just an off. Where there are disobedience to the instruction that back up the manifestation of the covenant that you have entered into, I am telling you, the manifestation will be nullified. I hear you. Sir. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 4, and God said to Abraham, Abraham, now move out of your father's house so that I can bless you. Many of you sometimes feel, no, I'm a prayer warrior. Even when God says, I should walk out of where I am staying, I can never walk out of the place. The witch that is fighting me is the one that must walk, that must walk out. You fail to understand that spirituality is not stupid. Amen. Yes, oh, I hear that. Sir. Can I preach here? Yes, yes sir. sir. If God say, if God say, avoid the person, avoid the person. Yes, sir. Okay, talk to the person. Be spiritual in your dealings with God. Abraham. And the Lord had said to Abraham, get out of your country. So migration never started today. Yes, sir. Hello? hello. Yes, sir. Hi. Migration never started today. Yes, sir. It started in the days of our fathers. Mm. People have been traveling from one country to another country, city to city, nation to nation, village to village, town to town, community to community. So it never started today. From your family and from your father's house to the land that I will hold, 
I will show you. To the land that I will show you. Listen to me. There are people that God say, move out of their, their lives. Go out. Move out of their circle. Go out of their circle. Stop that friendship. Stop the friendship. God do not walk by emotion because God do not have blood. God walk by principle. If only you can walk out from this man, your life will be prosperous. And you say, no, I can't live without this man. I can't live without this woman. I can't live without this girl. I can't live this. No one is the source of your life. Amen. God is only passing through them to reach you. Amen. Amen. Can I say that again? Yes, yes sir. Amen. There is no one on the surface of this earth you cannot do without. Yes, sir. You know, sometimes my message looks so personal. But I'm not directing it to anybody. I'm preaching to everybody. Yes, yes sir. sir. There is no way you cannot do that. Do, can I tell you the truth? Do you know that there are people who will never be a friend to you until a certain person leaves you? Mm. So sometimes God said to you, move out of that complex where you are. Move out of your father's house. Move out of your mother's house. Walk out from this group of people that you are moving with. Because as long as you are with these people, as long as you are with this, you are in this territory. The blessings cannot enter you. Can I tell you this? Yes, there sir. are times that God wants to bless us and he see enemies all around us. He said, no, as long as these enemies are here, when I bless you, they will kill you. Son, daughter, walk out of them because it will take process and time for these people to be killed. And I must tell you the truth. There are people who are witches and wizards. The grace of God is upon their life. They can be killed because God can still use them. Amen. Paul, the apostle, this man was harassing Christians and killing them. Do you know that Christians were praying for him to die? Yes. Just the way they prayed for Herod to die? Yes. Herod died mysteriously, but Saul was preserved. Amen. Why? Because the grace of God was upon, upon him. him. Touch yes. not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. There are people that God will not kill because he's still going to use them. And we are praying, let him die, let him fall, let him die. And my Lord said to my Lord, be at my right hand, see I make your enemy your first two. How long are you going to wait till God kill the man? Get out! Abraham, thank God for, for the man. And what happened in verse 2? I will make you great. I will a make nation. you great. Not just great, a great nation. Amen. I will make you great under that condition. Uh -uh. Under that condition. A man of God was ministering in a particular conference where I went to. That somebody came to his church, spoke to some one leader, one leader. And the leader went and polluted the heart of other leaders. All of them left and followed that man to open a church. He said at that time his heart was cut. And God said, Son, you don't you can't keep the people that have removed from you. Mm -hmm. uh, even though the person is the one you are doing business with, suddenly the connection block, the contact block. If it's the will of God, God has made another plan. Yes, sir. God has made an even more better plan. Amen. Yes, Somebody just called you, I can't deal with you again. Say, thank you for the ones you have what You have done. Yeah. I will make ways where there seems no, to be what? No ways. Say they left. And he never knew that God wanted to reshuffle his cabinet spiritually. That is what they call religious cabinet. Be reshuffled. Yes, sir. I always tell people, the dealing of the church is not the dealing with family, it's like that of family meeting. It's yes. a different thing. You are dealing with the kingdom of Jehovah. There's the there's kingdom of Jehovah and kingdom of human beings. Yes. You are dealing with God here. Do you know that the affairs of the church is managed by God? And the Bible says the angels of Philadelphia, the angels of Ephesus. God is the one who manages the church, and there are angels who come to church to take record of everything that are happening. So when you try to evolve or you try to be a confusion, you face confusion. Mm. Yes, sir. Say, my father. My, my father. father. I am loyal. I am loyal. I will not reo ya. I will not, not reo. Re I spoke in tongue. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh -huh. Verse 3. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. A name can be blessed. Huh? Yes, sir. A name. It's some people carry CV, but there are some CV that carry certain name and signature. You don't even go through interview. 
As long as they see that name and the signature, they said you are employed. Yes, sir. That name, a name can be what? A blessing. Say, oh Lord. Oh, Lord. Bless my name. Bless oh, my name. Amen. There are names they were mentioned. Even to the cops. The cops will maintain, retain, and, and sustain their action. No if, for example, the president is not of this country, maybe like the son or the daughter or the president of America, even though he drives one way here, <coughs> and the cops stop him, say, I'm the daughter of the president of the United States of America. <laughs> and the cops will say, eh? But you heard what he said. <laughs> The name alone. Do you know that a name can make you to defy laws and conditions? Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very true. There are people who, who will commit, two people commit the same offense, name can rescue one. Yes. yes. Very true. A common man can kill somebody now, maybe accidentally. They can release that one. But, I mean, not a common man. A man with a name can kill Accidentally, and they release him. But a common man can kill; he will go to jail. Yes, sir. Mm. It's true. Say, Father. Father. Bless my name. Bless, bless my name. name. People can register a company today, become a franchise. Yes. People start buying the name. Mm. His name, their Madonna is a name. Yes. Huh? Yes, yes, sir. Spare is a name. Yes. Checkers. It's a name. It's a name. Yes, sir. Do you know that people are buying that name mm. yes. with millions of francs? Yes, yes sir. Say, Father. Father. Bless my name. Bless my name. Amen. Never you look down on any word attached to blessing from the scripture. Because when you picture yourself in the scripture, you become a name. Amen. Say, I'm a name. I'm, I'm a name. name. Say, Apostle Evans. Evangelist Shalom. You are a name. You are, are a name. name. And your name is blessed. And your Amen. name is blessed. Amen. I will bless you, those who bless you. Uh, listen to me. When you are under a covenant blessing, there are battles you don't fight. Even when people are gossiping, they don't know that they are placing curse on themselves. I will bless those that bless thee, and I will curse those. So when you are talking about somebody in a very bad way, you are cursing the name of that person. Mm. That is why you must be careful of those who are gossiping people to you. Yes, somebody sir. like me, run. True. Somebody who tell the person I'm not involved. Because I'm a blessed man by covenant. I will bless those that bless you. There are people who don't fight. Don't fight them. Don't, in fact, when people are fighting them, I am not talking of prophet alone. I am talking of those that know their God and their God know them. Yes, sir. I will curse those that curse you. Who are those that curse you? Opportunities coming, they block it for you. Mm. Is that not a guess? It is. Yes, sir. Somebody want to help you, they backpass you and go and spray your name so that the person will change his or her mind. Is that not a guess? It is. Yes. And I will, so when you bless the blessed, you become blessed. Amen. When you when you bless the blessed, you what? Blessed. You become blessed. And when covenant, know. God bless you. When covenant is well understood, followed, and obey, the blessing will become undeniable. Amen. Why? Our God is a covenant keeping, keeping God. God. Isaiah 54, verse 10. Our God is a what? A covenant keeping God. Keeping God. When it is well understood, interpreted, followed, and obeyed, the blessings that back up the covenant become undeniable. All deniable. Man can deny words he has spoken, but God cannot deny his own. Yes, sir. From eternity to what? Eternity. eternity. God cannot deny it. God is not a man who said, I will bless you, my son. Tomorrow he said, I will not bless you again. And same the covenant is what is bridged. For the mountains shall depart. For the mountains shall depart. And the hills be removed. And the hills be removed. But my kindness. But my kindness shall, shall not depart from you. My kindness shall not depart from you. Kill your fear. Amen. Kill your stress. Yes, sir. Kill your dread. Amen. Kill that abuse. Amen. Kill that gossip. Amen. Amen. You know who God is. There are things that people say about you, do as if you didn't hear. Yes. I am walking in line with the covenant blessings of God. Amen. 
Nor shall my covenant of peace Nor be removed. Nor shall my covenant of peace be removed. Say says the Lord. the Lord, who has his mercies Hallelujah. on you. Amen. Fat you must know. Number one, covenant blessings are undeniable. Amen. Numbers 23, verse 19. Covenant blessings, they are what? Undeniable. undeniable. Number two, covenant blessings move from generations to generation. In Genesis 22, verse 18. In the seed, all nations of the earth shall be, what? Shall be blessed. Yes. See, parents that are here, anything you are doing to individuals out there, to church of God, to your man of God, don't think you are the only one who will enjoy the blessing. Yes, sir. You give to the poor, he that give it to the poor, learn it unto God. Go on those days away for people to tell me, thank you, sir, for doing it. No, I understand the power behind giving. Yes, sir. He that give it to the poor, learn it unto who? Unto, unto God. God. Because if you're waiting for that person to tell you thank you, you will receive insult. Mm. The person can come out and tell you, if you never did it, somebody else would have done it. Ungrateful yeah. heart. Ungrateful heart. There are people who are very ungrateful. Yes, sir. That's just, no matter what you do for me, many of you will say, no, daddy, don't say, don't say, don't say. I say, okay, it's what? But I'm not that kind of person you do something for. I see too little. There's nothing that is too little. Amen. As God is concerned, nothing is what? It's, it's too, too little. little. You did it out of love. Amen. Yes, sir. You think it's everybody who, everyone who will remember you to bless you? No. So if someone remember you and give you no matter how small it is, say, thank you so much and yes, may God what? Bless, bless you. you. Amen. Yes, sir. Let to appreciate people. Yes. Celebrate Jesus here. <laughs> Number three, covenant blessings can never be forgotten. Okay. Exodus chapter 2, verse 24. I'm going to read that. Exodus chapter 2, verse 24. Covenant blessings can never be what? Can never be, can never be forgotten. Exodus 22, 2, verse 24. So God had their groaning. God heard their cry. And God remembered and his God covenant. God remembered his covenant with Abraham in the days of your children. Amen. Every good thing you have done for God before they ask, God will answer them. Amen. I cannot hear your amen here. 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 Amen. God remembered his covenant with, his, with, with Abraham, with Isaac, with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel and God acknowledged them. Amen. Why? Covenant blessing cannot be what? Cannot, cannot be forgotten. Be forgotten. If it takes you to be writing certain things down, write it down, put it on your altar. Yes, sir. If it takes you to be writing, if possible, yes, sir. write it and put it on the altar. Amen. Lord, for this I have done, for this I have done. I do it for the prosperity of my generations. Amen. Amen. There are things you have gone through. Your children shouldn't go through it because Amen. there are covenant that are laid. Yes, sir. Covenant is a platform for spiritual operating. Amen. Covenant. So don't do anyhow when you are with God. Anytime you are dealing with God, deal with God as if you are dealing with a business partner. Yes, sir. With high level measures. Number four. Covenant blessing guarantees safety. In 2 Kings, 2 Samuel chapter 21, I, I would like to read that. 2 Samuel 21, verse 1 to 7. 2 Samuel 21. 2 Samuel 21, 1 to 7. Now there was a famine in the days of David. Now there was a famine in the days of David. For three years. For three years. Year after year. Now listen to this. That famine never just came like that. There was something behind it. When somebody is misbehaving, I say, no, let me check what could be responsible for this. I don't just act. There are spirits that enter certain people. They start misbehaving. Even they will not know what they are doing. Farmer came, dryness in the land, no food, no water. Not because David sinned against God at that time, but there was a man who sinned against God, and covenant was broken. Now the, the vengeance of breaking the covenant was upon the land over the people of God. Can I tell you this? God respects covenant more than his own people. God respects, he honors his word more than his what? His, his name. He honors his word more than his name. God honors covenant more than anything. Because it's not a man that lies, 
said, a son of mother, what? That repent. God will not stoop so low to say, I'm sorry. I made mistake because I lied. No. He would rather deny the whole word. I maintain his word. His word, word. not his name. Amen. He will let his name to go, but he will maintain his word. His word. Celebrate Jesus. Amen. And David inquired of the and Lord. And David was asking God, Father, where have we sinned against you? And the Lord answered. And the Lord said to him, always learn to ask God questions because yes. he will answer. Amen. So many of you will pray, pray, pray. Prayer is a two channels. Yes, sir. One coming, one, one going. Yes, As your own is going, learn to listen to the one that's what? That is coming. Yes, Go sir. have a word, talking to everybody. Amen. If you cannot hear from him directly, he can speak to you through dreams. If he cannot speak to you through dreams, he can speak to you through your prophet. He can speak to you through your sister. Somebody can have a revelation concerning you. The person will bring it to you. You have actually communicated to God, but you should wait and listen carefully where, when he is about to what? Speak to you. Many of us, where we make certain mistakes, we commit so many errors because we never inquired of the Lord. One thing that made me to love David, before he do anything, what does he do? He inquire. Lord, should I pursue them? And God said, pursue them because you will overtake them and you will recover all. Amen. Everything, every good thing you have lost. Yes, in, before this month, eh, you will recover. Amen. I said, you will recover. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> oh God. And the Lord answered. And the Lord answered. It is because of Saul. It was because of Saul, not because of you. And his So it is possible that a, the man who rule a city, a nation, a community to bring vengeance and torment upon his people and not the people. When the wicked rules, as the word of God says, what happened? The righteous yes, yes. reward they will, will suffer. suffer. Not because of you, David. Neither your people, but King Saul has breached my covenant, and as a result of this, he has done has brought brought a uh, uh, famine, torment, hunger, hardship, struggle. Ladies and gentlemen, in relating the scripture to what to what I am preaching now, sometimes you sit down. Who could be responsible of this pain that I'm going through? Yes, is sir. it my sin? Is it the sin of my father? Is it, not, is, is it the sin of my landlord? Yes. Because your landlord can do some blunder, spiritual blunder, on the foundation of the beauty where you are living and God seal up the beauty for his blessing not to walk, not to enter. enter. There's no relationship between light and what? And, and darkness. darkness. Yeah. Mm. Always inquire of the Lord. Yes, sir. What is responsible for what I'm going through? Amen. Just always something responsible. Yes. Something must be responsible. Yes. Something must be responsible. Yes, sir. The Bible says there shall not be anyone among you barren. Today you pregnant, you lose the baby. Th two months to come, you pregnant again, you lose the baby. Another three months. In a year, you lose four children. Is it normal? No, no sir. sir. In all these things, sometimes people go to the daughter and daughter will tell them clearly, I cannot see anything wrong. Yes, sir. But meanwhile, something is what? It's, it's wrong. wrong. <laughs> Do you know that people believe their daughter more than their prophet? Yes. I'm not saying daughters are bad. Mm. They have their own fortune. Yes. Prophets have their own way. The daughters might see the physical while the prophet are what? I seen the spiritual. The they walk hand in hand. Mm. There are times that a prophet can prophesy and say, see your daughter concerning this. Is it not true? It's true, sir. The daughter, Jesus said, I have not come to destroy the law, but I've come to what? To fulfill. So I'm not saying see your daughter is bad. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. But I don't like daughters who say that prophets don't know what they are doing. Yeah. You're a liar. Because I am the daughter to him. Mm -hmm. Yes. For it. It's true, sir. So if the daughter say they cannot see something, and you're sick, like what my daughter was saying just now, that they went to the daughter, daughter said they cannot see anything. Yeah. But she knows that she's what? She's sick. But when she came here, now the power of God hit her. Amen. Because God will not allow her to come with what she came with that is not of him and allow her to go back with that same sickness. Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you. Whosoever that runneth to the name of the Lord shall be what? Shall be saved. May you be saved. May you be delivered. May you be saved. May you be delivered. May you be saved. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And his bloodthirsty house because he killed the Gibeonites. He killed the Gibeonites. Who are the Gibeonites? Gibeonites were the people that Joshua made covenant with. 
they came to Joshua with the heart of the massive exploit that Joshua and the people of God have done. They were scared that Joshua might also kill them with other nations that were nearby. And they pretended they came from far. Meanwhile, they were just next neighbor to, 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 the, to the children of Israel. And they came to Joshua and begged Joshua. Joshua, we have come from far. They disguised themselves. They pretended as if of a truth. They are coming from far. But meanwhile, they were scared of the people of Israel. The night came and forced Joshua and his people to go into covenant with them that they shouldn't touch them, neither kill them. And Joshua entered into covenant with them. In the short while, Joshua discovered that these people lied to him. They never came from far. They are just next neighbor. But covenant has been made. And Joshua and his people, they regretted of the decision because they never inquired of the law who these people were. And Joshua and his people couldn't kill these people. But they made them men and women who fetch firewood and men and women who fetch water for the people of Israel. And the covenant stay even when the people who made the covenant has passed on. Covenant do not pass on, but it moves on. Amen. Can I preach here? Yes, covenant don't pass on, but it was, it moves on. Every good work you have done in the name of the Lord, your children will enjoy it. Your children's children will enjoy it. Your generation will enjoy it. In the name of Jesus, say I here. Say I am here. I am here. Joshua was no longer there. Saul was no longer there. But the covenant that was made was moving from one generation to another generation. Until he came to the town of King Saul. King Saul killed the Christianite. What was the covenant that was made? We will not touch them, neither kill them. Now can I tell you this? Anytime covenant is breached, there's always vengeance. And God can turn against his own people because God is a maintainer and a keeper of covenant. Amen. Amen. Covenant. Don't play with it. Yes, sir. Don't tear it. Amen. Some people will go into blood covenant. You know what is blood? Blood is life. Yes, sir. You are talking of the eternity. This will last. Blood is what is life. You no, know, some some people when they are in love. <laughs> I'll marry you. If I don't. I love you like my. I love you more than my mother. I love you more than my father. If I, if I don't marry you, I will die. <laughs> you now cut yourself. Drop the blood in the water. Drop the and you drink. You don't know what you have done to yourself. Mm. If you marry somebody else, your seed can become vulnerable, yes, non-entity, a wanderer mm -hmm. in the journey of life. Mm -hmm. They can come to church and be shaking their hands. Like Japanese people. And nothing will happen. There are principles you must follow to break covenant. Amen. Covenant address covenant. Sacrifice address sacrifice. Yes, sir. Words of prayer address cases through words. Mm. Amen. Some of you thought that church is just like, no, it's not. I will give you a pastor who will, who will feed you. That's what I'm doing now. Words of mad counter cases of the words of men. Sacrifice address sacrifice. Covenant. Speak against what? Covenant. Altar, address, altar. <coughs> These are things you must know. If you want to be a child of God, there are things you must know about this God. Yes, sir. My people perish, not because they don't have power. Every one of you have power, but one thing you don't have is wisdom. Yes. That's why I say anyone among you that, that lack wisdom, you must what? You must say ask. Ask. He gave us power. Yes. I have given you power to trip upon serpent and scorpion and over every power of the enemy. And he said, nothing shall by enemies hurt you. He has given you the power willingly. He gave you the power willingly. But did he say, I, I give you wisdom? Did he say, I give you wisdom? No, sir. Wisdom is something you ask for. Do you know that to marry, you need wisdom? Huh? Yes, sir. Marriage? Marriage is not easy. So people who come out and say, no, since I married my wife over 40 years now, we have never quarreled. They are liars. Mm. No, it's true. You know, sometimes when I preach like this, people say that it's like uh, you are a bit, you are a, bit uh, a blasphemer. No. no Sarah, our grand, great, great mother. Great, grand, great, grand, 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 grand mother. Yes. She was not easy. That woman was not easy at all. She's the one who told Abraham, go and sleep with her guy. Yes, Before you knew, because her guy was pregnant, he said, her guy is no longer respecting her. Mm -hmm. 
Before you knew again, Abraham, for sure, for sure. Yeah. And the Bible says he displeased Abraham. But God now said, Abraham, listen to your wife. Sometimes the way God supports women, I see the wonder. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And Abraham have no choice because he's a man who respects God. And in his pain and bitterness, he asked them to go. Mm -hmm. And that was why the angel of God came and blessed Ishmael. Mm -hmm. You see how mighty they are. Yeah. Go to the Middle East today. You see how rich they are. Yes, the sir. blessings of the Lord. Mm -hmm. May you not force your, oh God. There are so many of you, mind the way you treat people. Because the same person you are maltreating today, my be the same person who will protect you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes sir. sir. I am squatting with you today. I will not squat with you forever. Yes, sir. I am begging you today. I will not beg you forever. Yes, sir. You are the one helping me today. You will not help me forever. Yes, sir. When the Lord turn away the captivity yes, of Zion, yes, they were like men that were that, that dreams. Amen. Amen. Treat people well. Yes, sir. Irrespective. One thing I guide against is failure of tomorrow. Treat people well because you don't know what God prepared. For I know the thought that I think towards you, the thought of peace and not of evil, but to want to give you an expected end. Everyone you see on the surface of the earth, we are all created by God. God is never happy when one is doing well, one is not doing well. But can I pray for somebody here? Yes, where you are today is not where you will die. Amen. I said you will not die there. Amen. You will not die in that pain. Amen. You will not die in that shame. Amen. You will not die in that struggle. Amen. You will not die in that begging. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So the king called the Gibeonites and spoke to them. Now the Gibeonites were not of the children of Israel, but of the remnant of the Amorites. The children of Israel had sown protection to them, but Saul had sought to kill them in his zeal for the children of Israel and Judah. Therefore, David said to the Gibeonites, What now, shall I do for David you? David said to the people of Gibeonites, We know that we have breached the covenant that we had with your fathers, but I know that I am a king who is not supposed to even come and beg you people. But the conditions of life and the pains of life has made me, compel me, push me to come and beg you people so that this plague that is upon my land and upon my people can be removed. And when the people of Gideon had had, they said, David, listen, we don't need silver, we don't need gold. All we need is the head from the people of the family of King Saul. Amen. Coven when you see a man that is under covenant, be careful. Yes, sir. You know, sometimes some Christians see that it's all which daughter you can kill without following certain principle and order. You think it's all of them you can kill? No, sir. You are a joker. No, sir. David cried to God and said, Father, deliver me from the powers that are stronger than, than me. Uh, there are, there are, the way you will kill cow, it's not the same way you kill goats. Yes, sir. Not the same way you kill chicken. chicken yes. There are some of you now who cannot even kill chicken, you are here. Yeah. When you say, oh no, oh no, it's jumping, it's jumping, let me. Yeah. <laughs> you, you see chicken, you can't kill chicken. Now you want to kill goats. <laughs> Not to talk of the cow. He will make sure he put you here and toss you. <laughs> That's how the battle of life looks. You can't kill chicken. You say you want to kill goats. There are some goats, where before they die, they will use their need to knock you. I know you will kill me, but let me do my own. <laughs> Man. There are principal Christians. Don't go into a battle without being trained yes, sir. spiritually. Yes, sir. Somebody went to his father's house and said, I, I'm a Christian, I'm a born again now. All these things in my father's house, all this altar, all this small, small, they put in the heart. I'm going to destroy them. Why he was destroyed and became crippled. God told Gideon, Gideon, I know you're a mighty man of valor, but there are principles of destroying altar. That's why I tell people, because you're a man of God doesn't mean you can just go and do family liberation. Yes, sir. There are principles to all these things. Yes, there are principles to it. That's why so many men of God will go for family liberation. When, by the time they come, it's either their wife will die, 
their children become sick, the church will close, something terrible and mysterious will start happening. And they don't know where it's coming from because the serpent they went to chase away beats them, though no physical blood. Mm. Principle. Yes, sir. When you are dealing with certain things, a witch doctor is telling you I will destroy you. Try to will him spiritually. There are spiritual hierarchy. Yes, sir. Check, check where he is in the realm of the spirit. There are, there, are, there are people who don't drink the water you drink. There are people, the water they drink is in a pot where there are mighty patterns. They take water from that, that pot and they are drinking. There are people who drink human blood. There are people who have submitted their wife for power. There are people who have submitted their first son for power. There are people who have given their manhood. Even they don't have a child. They say, devil, give me power as I give you my manhood. And now you are because you can speak uruboro, 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 ya, uruboro, ya, uruboro, ya. And you want to confront such a man? There are principles and guidelines to the battles of life. Yes, sir. David knew so well. If I don't beg these people, heads must roll. Life must be given for life to be what to be saved. I know I'm a mighty man of war. David knew there's a mighty man of war. I started fighting war at the age of 17. I have the skills, I have the knowledge, I have the wisdom, I know the, 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 the techniques to win war. But when it comes to this, this is spiritual. This is spiritual because covenant was broken. We are not fighting human beings here. We are fighting the spirit that bear witness on that day the covenant were what were made. When you are dealing with covenant, be careful. We are not fighting the man now. We are fighting the spirit that uphold and bear witness over the covenant. Be careful. I always tell people, Christians especially, who speak anyhow, that man of God is not a man of God. He will, he will die. He will do this. Me, I don't, I, I mind my business. There are things I don't contribute to. That doesn't mean I side evil. No. I have told God, give me mouth and what? And wisdom. Amen. Let me speak when you want me to speak and help me to be quiet when you want me to be what? To be quiet. Amen. If the man is not of God, it's of the devil. If it's not of the devil, it's of God. If it's of God, I will bless those that bless you and I will curse those that, what? that curse you. Do you think that devil is powerless? Devil is not powerless. He took Jesus to higher p- uh, pinnacle and said to Jesus, all the glory of this world has been given unto me and I give it to whosoever that I want, that I wish. So if you think that you want to fight devil in your powerless state and manner, you are taking risk that is risky. Yes, sir. There are risks that are what? That risky. Are risky. <laughs> Can I preach to you here? Yes, yes sir. sir. There are risks that are what? Risky. So, somebody threatening you, you go home. Doesn't mean you are stupid. He that fight and run, live to what? To fight another day. There are people you don't respond to. You go home spiritually, go and weigh them. Check their spiritual hierarchy. Check what is back in them. Check the nature of the altar. Check the nature of sacrifice they have, they have offered. How dare you fight somebody who sacrificed his first son at the gate of the city and you want to fight such a man? And God told the people of Israelites in 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 26 and 27, He told the people of Israelites, please do what? Come back. Because this man has offered his son. God told Abraham, take your son, the only son, and go to Mora and sacrifice his son to me. Because in the land of Mora, what they use in sacrificing to their idol is human being. For you to be able to conquer them and bring to fulfillment everything that I promise you, you should be able to do what people do not know me are doing. Amen. I have told you. If you are fasted, 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 the problem failed to stop. Change another pattern. Yes, sir. Change it. Yes, sir. Change the pattern. Know the right time to pray. So many of you thought you, no, know the right time to what? To pray. pray. How do you set trap in the afternoon for animal, animals that only go at night? You are only praying when the, 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 the wicked forces are not flying. But the time they are flying against you, you are sleeping. Why not know their time of movement? In the days of all, those who fight war, they lay ambush when they know that their enemies are going to war, are going to pass. And to the little knowledge I have in farming and ambushing animal, most animals move at night. Yes, sir. Is it not true? It's true, sir. My father is a great hunter. 
Some of you are from the village now. You deny that you have never been to village. Village is the best place to stay. Yes, sir. No pollution, mm. no war, yeah. no fight. I agree. You eat food, you eat well. Mm. The food are fresh. If you want to go back to village, shut fire. Fire. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Wisdom. What did I say? Wisdom. Wisdom. You can't be a man of covenant and people kill you anyhow. You know who you are? Samuel was a son of covenant. Samuel. If not that Samson just lived anyhow, a son, a son prophesied. Bible says children are heritage of God. Is it not true? Yes, sir. When you are pregnant, say, Father, this baby is your baby. It's your child, so it's not mine. So whatsoever that, <laughs> that comes his way, <laughs> be his father. I will be a father to the fatherless. And a husband to the widow. Bible is not talking of those who do not have father. There are people who have father, but you look as if they don't have father. Yeah. Yes, sir. A defender and a provider. A defender and a what? A provider. A husband to the widow. There are women who have husband, but they're like single mothers. Mm. Is it not true? It's yes, true, sir. sir. By the grace of God, they are not in this church anyway. They have husband. Their husband is there. With one big head decorated with Afro hair. <laughs> like my own. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But they look as if they don't have. And that is what Bible says. I will be a husband to what? To, to the widow. Read the scripture so that we can go. Therefore, David said to the Gibeonites, What uh -huh. shall I do for what you? What shall I do for this plague to be withdrawn? And with what shall I make atonement? With what should I sacrifice? Because sacrifice was made over what is breached. Hmm. That you may bless the inheritance of the Lord. You can imagine that they now may bless. Israelites are the one who's supposed to be blessing them. But a man that uphold covenant is the one that is in the position of God. That you people, my what? My bless the inheritance of Jehovah Elohim. Amen. Now, power has been transferred. The, the Israelites become disadvantaged. Why? The covenant was what? Was, was breached. Hmm. That the enemy might bless the people of God. May you not submit to your enemy. Amen. Uh, can I say that again? Yes, sir. I said, may you not submit to your enemy. Amen. Your children will not submit to your enemy. Amen. Your husband will not submit to his enemy. Amen. Your wife will not submit to her enemy. Amen. Amen. Life, if you understand life, you will become gentle. Hmm. It's only those who, are, who do not understand life that are foolish, that does anyhow, brag, misbehave. When you understand this life, you will become calm. Yes. Say, my friend, my friend, calm down. Calm down. Say, my friend, my friend, calm down. Calm down. Ben. It's only those who do not understand life that do anyhow. If you understand this word, if you understand this life, you will be, you'll be calm. When people are misbehaving, you just look at them, you laugh at their stupidity. Hmm. If we let this person know what he's doing, he will understand that he's about to drink otapia pia, okiri omu. I just spoke in tongue. Yes, sir. Read the scripture. And the Gibeonite said to him, uh -huh. We will have no silver. We or gold. don't need silver. We don't need gold. We don't need money from you. But from something. Life was shared over the covenant that is breached, and we need life. Whether it was life of animal, we don't care. But we want something that will paint the lineage of Saul for what they have what they have done. Can I need that and pray for somebody here? Yes, sir. The evil your father did yes, Lord. will not cost your life. Amen. Amen. I said the evil your mother did yes, will sir. not cost your life. Amen. Will not cost the life of your children. Amen. Will not cost the life of your husband. Amen. Will not cost the life of your wife. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The children of Saul, many of them were not there. The sin of their father. I will remember the iniquity of the father upon the third and fourth generation, but showing mercy to those that are what I love. Among the children of Israel, there was, I mean, the children of Saul, there was one exempted again by sacrifice. Read the scripture. We'll have no silver nor gold, or gold from Saul or from his house, nor uh -huh. shall you kill any man in Israel for us. So he Do said. You know that there are sicknesses money cannot cure? Yeah. Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah. Yes. You have money, but you can't cure it. Yes. 
You think it's all problem money can solve? No. No. If it's all problem, there are people who died through COVID. They had money. Money couldn't save them. Yes. If you are alive today and God has secured you, preserved you, and keep you up to this time, in this deadly season and era we are, anytime you wake up in the morning, this eye open, this eye open, you have received two miracles that day. Celebrate Amen. Jesus. Amen. They say, we don't need money. We don't need silver. We don't need gold from the family or so. We need something that will cause them more pain. 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 Children of God, run from certain people. There are a lot of people now, a lot of news and spiritual news and social media. They talk anyhow, in some spiritual fathers, in some men of God, in some churches. We ourselves are contributing to it. You contribute to it, you are involving yourself. Yeah. Don't remove the ancient mark. The father, yes, of a truth, of a truth, as of those days in the days of Elijah, they have prophet of Baal. First prophet never started now. Yes. In the days of Jesus, they were there. In the days of, apost of apostles, but Jesus was one of them. They were there. So in our generation, they will be here. Yes. You can't remove them. And the servant said to the master, didn't we plant the, the what? The wheat. Where comes the tears? And the master said to them, the enemy have done this. And the servant said to him, permit us to uproot the tears among the wheat. In Matthew chapter 13, permit us to uproot, uproot the tears among the wheat. The master said, no, 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 no. Let them grow together. On the day of harvest, they shall be what? They, they shall be separated. Be separated. Mm. You think you can, if they want to start dealing with false prophets, in our generation, they will end up hurting the true prophet. That's the truth. They will end up what? Hurting the what? The true prophet. Because when the wicked rules, the righteous will what? We suffer. Mm. The wicked will know how to bribe their way out, but there are pastors who will not, who will not descend so low to go and meet certain uncircumstantial Philistine for the church to remain open. They would rather say the church rather remain closed for me to defy myself with this uncircumstantial Philistine. But the wicked can't do anything. Even though they tell them, bring your wife head, they will go and give them so that they, their name can be maintained and be what? Be retained. But sacrifices of evil will not conquer you. Amen. I cannot hear your amen. 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 What happened? And so he said to them. Then he said to them. Whatever you say. Whatsoever you say now. I will do for you. I will do for you. Then they answered the king. And they now answered the king carefully well. Carefully well. Amen. Uh-huh. As for the man who consumed us and plotted against as us. As for the man who consumed us and destroyed the covenant made by our fathers and your fathers. That we should be destroyed from remaining in any of the territories of Israel. Uh -huh. Let seven men of his descendants Let seven heads be delivered to us. Be delivered to us. And we will hang them before the Lord and in Gideon. And we will Gideon. hang them before who? Before the Lord. Before who? Before the Lord. Because the Lord is the one who bear the evidence and the word, the witness of the covenant that was made. Look at them now. You see how wise they are. They, they, see, they, they, they never said they will present it before their idol. They said they will present it before who? The Lord. Oh. Amen. Wise people. They didn't say we will present it before our idol. Because when they say that, God will be angry. They say we will not what? Because God cannot deny his word. And the king said to him, said to them, if that is the case, I will, give, I will them. give you seven heads from the lineage of Saul. Bible said, but he preserved Mehibosheth. Why? There was a covenant between King Saul, between King David, and his father Jonathan. Covenant cannot be forgotten. Those who made the covenant can pass on, pass away, but covenant will what? Will pass on. Amen. To keep moving from one generation, Amen. every good work your father once did, yes, sir. good works your mother did, Amen. you will reap the reward. Amen. I cannot hear the amen here. Amen. Finish the scripture as I go. And but the king spared Mephibosheth. But the king spared Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, Madame because Bochata. of the Lord's oath. Among all your mother's children, yes, Lord. Bochata. If they are looking for what to put blessing upon, they will locate you. Amen. Ah, your amen is annoying here. Amen. 
Yes. If you're looking for someone that they will bless, Amen. they will bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Why? Because of the Lord's oath that was between. Because of the Lord's oath. Because of the Lord's covenant that was between David and Jonathan, the son of Saul. May you be exempted in a place of danger. Amen. Where everyone is mandated to be killed. Sacrifice will rise and speak for you. Amen. Where order, orders are mandated to be slaughtered. I say sacrifice will exempt you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Covenant supersede negativity and pronouncement. Amen. Covenant supersede what? Negativity and satanic pronouncement. Numbers 23, verse 20. I'm rounding up here. Numbers 23, verse 20. Verse 20. Numbers 23, verse 20. Behold, Behold I have received a command to bless. I have bless. received a command to bless. He has blessed. He has blessed. And I cannot reverse it. I cannot reverse it. Covenant. Why? Because these people are under the covenant of God. Covenant covers the errors of men. Amen. Look at it. Numbers 23, verse 21. The simple is there. He has not observed he iniquity not in Jacob. He has not observed iniquity in any of these people. Neither what? Nor has he seen wickedness in Israel. Even when there's wickedness, covenant, covenant cover it. The Lord, his God, you is know what with is covenant? him. Covenant can protect you because of your mother. Yes, sir. Covenant can secure you because of your father. He covered the iniquity of those that you want. He loves. Esau have I hated? Jacob have, have I loved? Is there iniquity with God? No. No. Even when there's iniquity in Jacob, covenant covered it. Where you are meant to fall, covenant will defend you. Amen. I cannot hear the amen here. Amen. Covenant, covenant blessings defy witchcraft see, and divination. Amen. Covenant. You know what is covenant? Somebody want to be a witch over your destiny? They are jokers. In verse 23 of the same chapter. Numbers 23, verse 23. For there is no sorcery For against Jacob. For there is Jacob. no sorcery against Jacob. No any divination no against any Israel. No any divination against Israel. Why? Covenant. Let hundred witches, one million witches, gather, a, gather against a man or against a woman that is other covenant they will fail. Let them come in number. In one way they will come, but seven ways they will flee. The enemy will come like a flaw, but the Spirit of God will rest standard against them. Can I pray for somebody here? Yes, sir. As many of you that are under the sound of my voice, anyone that will gather against you again, they will scatter. Amen. I said they will scatter. Amen. I said they will scatter. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Covenant blessing makes a man a devourer and not a prey. Hmm. When you become a man that is under covenant blessing, you can't be a, you can't be devoured. You become a devourer and what? And not what? A prey. In verse twenty-four of the same scripture. Look, look. A people rises like a lioness. Uh huh. And lift itself up like a lion. Uh -huh. It shall not lie down until it devours the prey. You can never be devoured when you are operating under covenant blessing. Amen. People are waiting to eat you. It's a lie. They can't eat you. Why? A man that is under covenant is a man that spirit watch over. And they give proper accountability to Elohim. As I close here. Conditions to enjoy covenant blessing. Amen. Number one, obedience to the word of God. Yes. Obedience. God said, do this, do it. God said, don't do, don't do. Obedience. Obedience. One thing that, there's one thing I emulate about Abraham. Obeying the voice of God. Yes. Amen. Obedience. God said, he do it. God said, he do it. How do you disobey God and expect success? God said, do it, you do it. You don't even negotiate, negotiate. You don't even need to consult. You don't even need to inquire from any man. God has said you should do it. Then do it. Number two, be sacrificial in nature. Amen. You want to enjoy the blessings? Be what? Sacrificial, sacrificial in nature. Be a sacrificial being. You can never be a man of sacrifice and be sacrificed. Amen. It's practically impossible. Yes. Number three, know the condition binding the covenant. Know the conditions. 
Even in a wicked world that we are, many people who go to native doctors, wish doctors, there are things they will tell them to do, and there are things they will tell them not to do. Yes, sir. Is it not true? It's true. Those days when we were growing up, there's this guy, he will tell us that any yam on the fire, if they use knife to chuck it, he doesn't eat. Then I asked why. He said, there's something in his body, don't want it to be destroyed. After they have gone, I will use knife, I chuck out the yam. Anything that is not of God must be what? Must be destroyed. Yeah. It has been longer. I started. <laughs> Shut fire. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I was very young. My spiritual ascanity started very long. Once you use knife to touch that yam, many of you will be my witness here. You will not eat it. Then I ask your son, why is it that any time they use knife to chuck the yam, you don't eat it? They say, get waiting there, my body. I'm not going to make it spoil. When they don't go, I look. I must make sure the knife end out. <laughs> The works of the devil must be what? Must be destroyed. Oh, it's amen. So for this reason, the Son of Man was made manifest. That he may what? He may destroy the, the works of the, the devil. devil. So practically, I destroyed that in the devil, put inside him. Conditions. Conditions. The devil will tell them, don't do this, they won't do it. Do the, there are times, you know that people obey wish daughter more than prophets? Yeah. Yes, sir. The wish daughter will tell them, at the middle of the night, wake up, go naked, Zero Joshua, have your shower, they will do it. But when prophets tell them something similar, I'm not saying prophets should say that. Yes, sir. But they will not. Prophet tell them, wake up in the middle of the night and pray. Many of them say, they will say, Oh, I forgot. <laughs> but the one that wish daughter asked them to do, they will never what? They, they will never, never forget. forget. Some people can park their car, rich men, park their car in a very far place. They are entering to boom, to boom, to boom, to boom, to boom, to boom. Where are they going to? They are going to Shrine. But in a road where church is tied, yet they cannot go and serve their God, but they can go to inside forest to go and meet the wish daughter. Yeah. Those that know their God, they shall what? They, they shall, shall do great exploit. Number what? Number four. Be careful. Be conscious in your dealings with God. Be very conscious. Be very, very what? Conscious. conscious. Number five. Be highly spiritual. In everything you do, be what? Be spiritual. Carnality with God is death. To be carnally minded is what? It's death. Spiritually minded is what? It's death. Life. Life. Be what? Be spiritual. Be spiritual. God, Spirit of God is telling you, son, carry salt, wash your hand. Say, so what is the meaning of that? Son, do this. The food you are supposed to eat, go and give it to the street beggar. He said, when I have not eaten, her, about to send her. Hey. <laughs> be spiritual. Be spiritual. God, the Spirit of God can tell you, give your best shoe out to anybody. Say, do you know how much I bought this shoe? I saved for six months before I could buy it. Meanwhile, you never knew God wanted to increase your speed. Yeah. Yes, sir. Be spiritual. What did I say? Be, Be spiritual. spiritual. Be highly spiritual. Spiritual. Greed can make certain people to remain poor for life. Number six. Key self. What did I say? Key self. Key the flesh. Yes, sir. Key flesh. Because as long as flesh is there, you can't go far. True, sir. Number eight, be an expectant. Amen. Be expectant. Anytime you're a covenant child, anytime you do anything for God, approve of God, be what? Be, be expectant. expectant. Be an expectant. Number nine, guide your tongues, your tongue, Amen. guide your ears, and guide your mind. Amen. Careful of what you say, careful of what you hear. Be careful what you meditate on. There are things people will bring for me. I don't even. They are take notes. Most, most of you, when you are talking to me, I do as if I don't hear. I don't want to contribute. No. I don't want to involve myself on certain things. Be careful of your tongue. Be careful of your ears. Be careful of your mind. There are things you shouldn't keep in your mind. Flush it out. There are things you shouldn't, you shouldn't hear. Run away or block your ear. And there are things you shouldn't say because it can destroy even everything that you have heard, you have done. Be careful of your mouth, your tongue. Number seven, did I say key greed? Key greed is number seven. You must what? Key greed. Greed. A greedy man cannot serve God. What did I say? A greedy man cannot what? Cannot serve God. There are people who have missed their billions because of greed. Who have missed their million because of greed. Who have missed their thousand because of, because of greed. There are people who have missed lives saving 
uh, potential man because of greed. Don't always talk of myself, myself, me, me, myself. Do you know that you can save and not enjoy it? Yes, sir. Don't be greedy. A man who is greedy, greedy can never be sacrificial. He's always calculating. Okay, now, I have a 900,000, 23,000, 45 Naira. It's short, small, short, small. I won't make a one million. I won't make a... And God is telling you, do something. Say, no, until I make this to one million, I want to become a millionaire. Brother, you might not be a millionaire. True. Check our fathers of faith. Anytime they sit and discuss how they get to the level they are, I am telling you, sacrifice was the major activities that they carried out. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice. Yes, sir. I'm telling you the truth. Sacrifice. <laughs> See, don't be carried away. You know, say the man love money, the man love money. If you love money, be giving him money. Let him be giving you a blessing. Give you a blessing. He loves shoes, he loves shoes. Keep giving him shoes. Yes, keep giving him shoes. He loves handbag. Give her handbag. If it's a spiritual mother. If it is what she loves or what be giving him. Meanwhile, you know what you are getting from him. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. If it, that is what you can use to get it, how can Isaac request for porridge? That means he loved porridge so much. Yes, they go and prepare a special porridge. And he told them, I saw that I want, I like. They give him porridge. What is the benefit of the porridge? The blessing. Blessing. So people, their mindset, their, their, their scientific logic has killed them. You are analyzing God with physical logic, scientific logic. When God himself, we cannot understand him. As earth is far from heaven, so are his what? His ways. How do you explain God with your logic, with human knowledge, with human wisdom, with human uh, scientific ways? No, no, no. We are playing games with God. Apostle Paul said, I have become, I become fool that I may no more. Don't try to be too wise when dealing with God or else you remain where you are. Don't try it. God can never ask you to do what will not pay you. Yes, sir. No. If it is like that, everybody will be. Can I tell you this? You yes, can sir. be a prayer warrior and be the poorest person. Yeah. You can be the most prayerful person yet you are poor. I'm not saying prayer is bad. Prayer has its own way yes, of sir. dealing with things. Mm. You can be the most, I can say it again. You can be the most prayerful person. There is never a time Israel go to war without praying. And they keep, there, there were times that Israel will lose war, they will slaughter, they kill all their soldiers, slaughter their soldiers, they will go back again, they will slaughter, until they not come back to God. God will tell them their error and sacrifice to what? To carry out. And when, when they go back, what happened? They conquer. Great. Great. God is telling you, okay, this thing I'm wearing, you are wearing. Wash it, clean it up, and give it to this brother on Sunday. He said, never. Never. I don't want them to start saying that I'm showing up. Give her that handbag. They will think that I'm intimidating. They will think that I'm, I'm showing that I'm better. Never you allow satanic thought and all this thought to defy instruction of heaven. Don't leave the assignment of God because of what people will say. Because Satan will be there to position people who will discourage you. Say, I refuse it. I refuse. Say, I refuse it. I refuse it. Say, I refuse it. I refuse it. Lastly, Testify his goodness to others. Amen. When God blesses you, in this ministry, for example, who is that witch that after you testify, they will start attacking you? No, it's not from here. Anytime God has blessed you, you must what? You, you must, must testify. testify. God will talk to you. God bless you. Others are waiting to hear if truly God did it. Now you are making God a liar. Anytime God bless you, come out and tell the people of God of a truth. This God is a what? It's a faithful God. He said it and he what? He, he did, did it. it. Be on your feet. Amen. Are you blessed here? Yes, sir. sir. Are you blessed here? Yes, yes sir. Amen. Lift up your water. There's something I want to do. Make sure you have your water. There's something I want to do here. Lift it up. Make sure you lift up your water. Out of the, out of the belly shall flow the rivers of living water. The greatest place where there are resources is the water. 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 Lift it up. They're going to say it is well with you. 
Lift it up. Say, Father. Father, with this water in my hand, with this water in my head, I connect. I connect to the riches. To the riches. I connect. I, I connect to the sources. To the success. I connect. I connect to the greatness. To the greatness of this world. Of, of this world. world. Amen. Amen. Lift it. Say, Father, 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 this water, this water in my hand, in my hand, has been empowered, has been empowered by Holy Ghost, by Holy Ghost, whatsoever, whatsoever I do, I do with this water, with this water, will give me, will give me my testimony, my testimony. Amen. Lift it up. You will see what God will do. Yes, Lord. Lift it up. I don't know what you want. But most of you play with what we do here. And you keep seeing people testify. Lift it up. I don't know what you want. I said be spiritual. This water you're going to forget about your makeup here. You will wash your eyes with that makeup. What you want to see that you never saw. Yes, Lord. What you want to possess that you couldn't possess. Amen. By the power of Elohim. Yes, Lord. As your eyes can see, your hand will possess. Amen. Lift up that water. You don't believe? I believe. I believe. Say, Father. Father. With this water, with this water, let my life change. Let my life change for your glory. For your glory. Focus your mind on something you want God to do. Focus your heart, your thoughts on what you want God to do. Focus. Are you sick? No sickness abide in the tabernacle of God. Yes, sir. What is that? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. What is that you desire? What is that you cry for? What is that you wait for? In the name of Jesus. What is that you desire of the Lord? What is that you cry for of the Lord? What is that you wait for from the Lord? What is that you have labor for that needs compensation? In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, Bahushata. Holy Ghost, Zidabahushata. Let the power of the Holy Ghost, Bahushata. Let the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Holy Ghost, enter into this water. Empower the water. Change the life of my people. Change the life of my people. Let sickness disappear. Let demons disappear. Let evil spirit disappear. Let it 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 disappear. I keep on seeing check. Check. Amen. Keep on seeing check. Amen. I keep on seeing check. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Who say you have a whole show? It looks so much impossible. But not with God. For with God, all things are possible. God raised a millionaire here. Amen. God raised a millionaire. I want somebody here that will become great. I see it vividly. Amen. Lord, raise somebody here. Amen. Jesus, the certain the Spirit of God, the water do here. Yes. Lord, the angels who said, Amen. Let, please be focused now. Be spiritual. Be focused. Be focused. Be co something is happening already. Please mind your own business now. Focus on yourself now. Focus. As the angels pass by, do not allow them to leave you. Amen. In the name of Jesus.
must worship you. They must worship because they heard their cry. Their prayers are being answered. Let them worship me. Let them worship me. I am the Lord, they are God. I heard they are crying. Let them worship me. Yo yo to lo lo fa ta yo to lo lo fa ta yo to lo fa ta yo kali bi to la ta yo to lo lo fa ta yo to lo fa ta yo to lo lo fa ta yo to lo lo fa ta yo Oh, my God. 
Request, tell them to praise me. Mm. And some of you are just like that, standing like that. May you not miss your blessing. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. let's celebrate Jesus. What a wonderful service! Are you blessed to be here? Are you sure you are blessed? Please, before. I